In this tutorial for Code.org's App Lab environment, you are going to learn how to reduce the complexity of a program by writing functions with parameters. We're going to do it in text mode, however if you want to learn how to do it in block mode, check out the link in the video description or click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Let's take a look at this program here. It has four functions. Draw a small red square, draw a small blue square, draw a big red square, and then draw a big blue square. You can see these functions are almost exactly the same. There's only two differences other than the name. First of all, in the ones that are red squares, we set pen color to red. And in the ones that are big squares, we move the turtle forward 50 pixels instead of 25 pixels in the small one. So there's a lot of wasted code here where we're just repeating the same lines of code over and over again. And also, we're still limited to only drawing smaller big red squares and drawing smaller big blue squares. If we wanted to have more varieties of sizes and colors, we'd have to write a bunch more functions. So this is not a very efficient program. We're going to write a function with parameters. And those parameters are going to let us abstract away some of the specifics, like the specific color or the specific number of pixels to move forward. So we'll have a general purpose function that will let us draw a square of any size and of any color. Let's start by going down a couple lines and we'll say function. We're going to call this one just draw square because it'll draw any size or color square. And we've got our open close parentheses. Inside here, we're going to put parameters, which are a type of variable. And those variables are going to let us abstract out certain details, like the specific color and the specific number of pixels for each side of the square. So we want to be able to customize color. So that'll be one variable name. And then size. We will open and close the squiggly brackets to show the computer where the function begins and ends. Now, let's write the body of the function. So we're going to start by pen color. But instead of a specific color, we're going to put in whatever value is passed to the color parameter there. So we're going to say color. So we have less detail here. We've abstracted out the specific value with a parameter. Next, we're going to write our for loop. There, i equals 0. i is less than 4. i plus plus. This will loop through four times. We'll use squiggly brackets to show the beginning and end of the for loop. If you want to learn more about for loops, check the link in the video description. Inside the for loop, we want to move forward. Again, we're going to abstract out these specific values here. And we're going to put in the parameter size. So depending on the value that's passed this parameter, the length of the sides will be different. And then we got to turn left after we move forward. So turn left. So now we have a general function that will allow us to create a square of any color or size. Let's compare how a programmer could call these functions. So first, the specific function. We could say draw small red square, then open, close, parentheses, and semicolon. There's no parameters inside these parentheses, so we don't need any arguments when we call the function. We can run it, and it draws it just fine. Now let's compare this. If we wanted to call the general draw square function. Draw square. In this case, we've got two parameters. So we need to have two values to pass to these parameters. Color, I want to make it blue. And then size, I want to make it, let's say, 35. So it'll pass blue to color, and they'll set the pen color to blue, because that's what this will hold in this call. And then 35 will go to size. So for this call, the size will be 35. Let's run this. And there we go. So we were able to eliminate the need for these four functions and add a lot more customization by abstracting out these specific details. And it's made our code simpler, and it's made our code much more versatile.
This sample program will not meet the requirements for the Create Task Question 3D and Row 6 on the rubric. In this program, while the parameters do affect the output of the function, the same lines of code will run regardless of the parameter's values. To meet the requirements for Question 3D and Row 6 on the rubric, the value of a parameter must have an effect on which lines of code in the function run. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and then leave me a comment down below. To see the next video, click on the image on the left side of the screen. To see the entire playlist for the series, click on the image on the right side of the screen. And to keep up to date on all the latest content, hit the subscribe button in the middle.